Hey, today I want to talk about something that um, I think if, if I was the owner of an, a, a facility where seniors were coming, um, obviously, and this information is actually really good for anyone uh, that I'm going to share with you today, uh, I would actually have them do what's called a health print prior to them coming. Because uh, then you can, this health print would know exactly what the, it, it's a blood test. Um, all the foods that are good for you, all the foods that are bad for you, um, all the way down to what supplements that you should be having uh, and things like that. So I just wanted to talk about that really quick because I'm going to share my results. I was, I was actually, this hutchback here was cleaning out um, the other day, came across my health print. And this is a company called Your Future Health. I have no affiliate or anything like that with them. I just, um, and we, my wife has done this. Um, we're big on blood tests. Um, which we pay have, have to pay privately. You know, a lot of you are going to say, "Oh, well, does, does insurance cover it?" No, nope, insurance does not cover this. Um, and we're learning now that unless you privately pay, that's when you're going to get good, good advice um, from uh, people that you know truly care about your health. So, um, I have a my older brother that's a physician. He cares about people's health. I'm just that's kind of a generalized comment, but still. Um, so anyway, I get, you get a blood, blood work. What they do is they overnight ship it. The nurse comes and draws your blood. And um, there's another company called, uh, through Tony Robbins, called Life Force. Same type of concept. However, this health print actually gives you the foods that are, are your uh, power foods and your foods to avoid. So what you get is obviously a detailed description as far as all your blood work. It'll tell you what you need to raise and lower as far as specific uh, blood markers. And then, uh, so that's a few pages. Then, um, and they have actually, they have a big panel. I mean, you could get all the way up to 1600 bucks to pay uh, for uh, blood work, which is very detailed. And, you know, I'd recommend you do it every six months or every year, uh, this kind of thing. So. Here's an example, here's my power foods. What I always found interesting, so um, an example is dairy, cottage cheese. Um, so what they do is they give you the power food, like let's say cottage cheese, and it, it'll affect seven of my blood markers uh, in a positive way. Uh, here's apple cider vinegar, I take apple cider vinegar um, in the morning, it'll affect two, two of my scores. So. It goes through beans and legumes, breads, breads and muffins, cereals, condiments, dairy and eggs, uh, fruits. Like, even though I hate grapefruit, grapefruit will affect four of my scores. Uh, cantaloupe will affect five of my scores. Red navel oranges affect six of my scores. And then here's the meat and poultry. Chicken is a huge one for me. It'll affect 11 of my scores, as well as beef is nine. Um, I'm actually blood type O, so I'm also recommended to have a lot of protein. Um, then nuts and seeds, it says uh, walnuts six, peanuts five. So I always, and almonds five. So I'm always wanting to have those uh, as well. And then a lot of the seafoods. So I'm not a fan of sardines, but that would affect 10 of my scores. Haddock and swordfish, which I both like. Haddock affects nine of my scores. Swordfish, nine halibut nine, tuna nine. So I should definitely get most of those. And then also my vegetables, spinach is seven, broccoli will affect six of my scores. Um, shiitake mushrooms affect six of my scores. So again, it gives the whole list as far as what my power foods are. So see how this would be helpful to a facility and to just to be able to take care, help to take care of an aging parent um, and you yourself as, as, a, as a boomer. Uh, to do that. So, um, but then it gives the list of foods to avoid. Uh, shouldn't be in your diet because these would be the foods that probably are causing inflammation. You don't even realize it uh, in your body. And it's interesting that um, my mom made chili and when she made it, she had kidney beans, uh, great northern beans or white northern beans. Um, I don't know. She probably had three or four different style of beans in there. There was hardly any meat in it. And I just did not like it. And it's interesting, I've never been a fan of beans. I don't know if it's because of that experience, but uh, beans, all the beans are on my avoid list. So guess what I do? I don't know, I avoid, I avoid the beans. You know, I'm at, when I'm at Chipotle, 
if uh, you know, I'm ordering a burrito bowl, no, no black beans. Um, just avoid them anywhere. You know, don't eat the refried greens when I go to a Mexican restaurant. So, um, however, it does say dairy and eggs. I'm supposed to avoid ice cream, but I'm a big ice cream. You know what? If I'm if I'm ninety percent good, ten percent bad. That's that's the, that's my philosophy as well. Um, so vegetables, interesting. I'm not really. I'm not. I've never been a fan of carrots. Um, it says I'm not really should be a part of beets having beets or sweet potatoes. So it's interesting. Some of the, most of these things, um, I'm I'm not a fan of eating anyway, and I don't. I avoid. And then also the, they give you the supplement suggestions, as far as what supplements um, would really help you. And mine, a big one for me is is uh, B complex or folate. Um, folic acid, uh, and then another big one is uh, fish oils, which I, actually I've really increased my fish oils um, supplements, um, and I'm, I'm, I actually feel a lot better. My skin feels great. Um, I used to have a little uh, hard, like callus area here and also here, and those are gone now since I've increased my fish oils. And what else is in here? Uh, but it gives you, I had some intracellular testing as well, so I added that, so to see what, what it was. Uh, I found out that I actually have some mercury in me, so um, that's something that I've considered about getting, I, I have a, just think one or two mercury fillings that I've had since a kid, uh, which could be contributing to that. And then the other nice thing is that uh, they, you know, with a bullet health print, you get a, a normal, uh, by this um, LE Cullen, uh, you get normal blood test scores aren't good enough. And so then it, this is a book that tells you why. Um, see, because when you go to the doctor, what they do is they base it on the bell curve. And I'll tell you, from here on out for the next years, uh, we're, I think we're going to have a big change in healthcare, which will be good because it needs a huge reset. And most healthcare professionals will tell you the same. Um, and I think you feel it, that it needs a, re a huge reset. Uh, communication needs to be better, uh, but uh, back to the blood work is it's typically on a bell curve, and uh, what the do traditional doctors do is they just look at what the average is. Okay, well the top twenty five percent those are the people that feel great, and then the bottom twenty five percent are the ones that really feel really terrible um, because in the in the average, you know, I've had a lot of patients over the years say, you know what, my blood works great, but I feel like crap, you know, so. Um, again, you're just in that bell curve. In that uh, bell curve, we we loved it when we were taking tests in high school and college. If it was graded on a bell curve, because then, you know, even though you got a, a 75, it could still be an A. You know, but again, they're basing it just on that, and you're within normal limits. Oh, you're good. You know, kind of thing. Whereas you want to feel um, really good. You want to be in that top 25 percent, and getting blood work done like this will help you to achieve that. And again, if our seniors were to do that, I think they're the most malnutrition, uh, malnu uh, suffering malnutrition big time. Number one, they're not getting enough vitamin D. Um, so I think that would be the number one supplement to, to have, get the vitamin D level tested, get that number up. Um, seniors would be, feel great um, or better. They'd be able to fight off illness. Um, and then they also send this book as far as, okay, what if, what if your... Um, let's see, let me pick one out here. Let's see. What if your LDL cholesterol is, is high? What to do, uh, from a natural approach, you know, doing things before even considering taking a medication, which has a ton of side effects. So, um, this is just wanted to share this. This is what I've always been passionate about is, is people's health. Um, so and with seniors, I, I, I want to make sure they're happy, healthy and safe at home. Uh, so this is under that healthy component. Uh, even if you're at home, you know, really, if you've got a senior, I would really, I'll, I'll include the link to this company, uh, but you will have to pay for it privately. I recommend it for yourself too, because, um, you know, we're looking at our parents, because what I've noticed over the years too, is when I first started 23 years ago, providing in-home care um, and, and doing home health as a PT, I... Uh, most of my patients were in their 80s and 90s, uh, all the way up to 100. Now I'm getting patients as young as in their 60s. So there's a big problem 
American health is an issue. It's, 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 it's in um, decline and it's been in decline and it's getting worse. So our public health, um, and, you know, but, but bottom line though, don't rely on other people doing it. You need to take it into your own hands. You know, they always say, you know, if you had a million dollar racehorse, would you feed it the same thing of what you're eating? No, you'd give it the best food so that it races well. Um, and unfortunately, Americans feed our, feed junk into their body, their million dollar body. So this will help you, uh, getting a health print will help you and an aging loved one uh, feel better, look better, um, and, uh, and actually just understanding more about yourself. Even in the Bible, it says, know thyself. This would be a way to know thyself. And so I highly recommend it. I'll include that in the description below. But again, if I were, if I owned a facility, uh, part of the entry fee, and it's interesting, some of these facilities have a $3,000 entry fee, and I'm not sure what that goes for. Um, but I would make, I would have this be part of that $3,000 entry fee to make sure that we're taking good care um, of your senior loved one. All right. Hope you found that helpful. Um, if, if you like this, share it, subscribe, because um, I got many more videos uh, that I've been doing uh, to help seniors be happy, healthy, and safe at home. Take care.